Restaurants are going to have to adjust again. Starting Monday, diners will not be allowed inside. News 13's Annalisa Pardo is live with more. Jessica, even before the governor's announcement today, restaurants I talked to say they were expecting tighter restrictions to come down, but it doesn't make it hurt any less. It's going to be devastating for our employees too, because we called them all back, called a lot of them back to work, and they were glad to get back to work. But if we have to lay them off again, it's not going to work well for them. Ray Trombino is the owner of Trombino's Bistro Italiano and says they survived off curbside dining early in the pandemic, but need indoor dining to see sustainable numbers. Even though it's not ideal, he's considering putting a tent outside his business for outdoor dining. People we talked to have mixed feelings on banning indoor dining for a second time. I think it's okay that the indoor dining closes down and stuff because that's the problem is the circulation through the air. Well, I don't think it's good for anybody that it gets taken away. I just think if everybody adheres to the guidelines and does things appropriately, I don't think it's going to be a risk. We also spoke to the general manager at Five Star Burgers, who says he understands the risks, but a second closure could, quote, hurt badly. The CEO of Flying Star says it's, quote, close to fatal, saying most restaurants are following guidelines, and she doesn't think they're the cause of the spreading virus. Now, the governor agreed, saying it's the behavior of New Mexicans, like not social distancing or wearing masks, that's causing these new restrictions back on restaurants. Back All right. Thank you, Annalisa. And today we also spoke with breweries who 